Right, hello there guys. Welcome back to a new video. Now, in today's video, I am actually on a commute that I've actually been doing for nearly two months now. As you can see, back in the Audi. Audi is running fine. A uh, quick update on that. Um, I found out that this car don't have a DPF anymore and it's been mapped. So we are running about 215 brake in this car, which, uh, you know, makes, makes me more of um, more want to drive this car. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I'm on a commute that I've been doing for nearly two months now. Uh, no, it's not work related. As you can tell, I'm still in casual clothes, so it's not work related. Uh, today is a Sunday, so it's definitely not work related. Um, but yeah, I am on my way to the new girlfriend's house, um, which is why I've been doing this commute for nearly two months. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd jump on here today and I thought I would just give a sort of general life update, tell you what's going on, because obviously my content slowed down again and I haven't uploaded for a little while. Now, before we jump into things, I want to say that I know what people are thinking right away. Oh, you've got a new girlfriend already. You haven't been single long, blah, blah, blah. Oh no, I forgot I was back in the Audi. This is gonna keep happening. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't been single long. I've got a new girlfriend already, blah, 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 whatever. Now, me getting a new girlfriend was not intentional, all right? You know, I started talking to people, started getting myself out there a bit, um, just to see what would happen, you know? And uh, it just so happened to be that I found someone. So, um, but yeah, this is gonna be about making the right decisions today, this video. That's, that's what this video is an update on, is making the right decisions. Now, I'm 21. I want to be moved out ideally before I'm 30, right? And by no means am I gonna do it by myself. Um, because to live in the UK it is extortionate. The same with everything else such as running cars and buying anything in a shop is just so overpriced in the UK. Um, so, uh, so yeah, making the right decisions. Wanting to move out. So it just so happened to be that obviously I've now found someone. But am I ashamed that I've moved on too soon? Not at all. At the end of the day, time flies. Time really does fly, especially as you get older. It flies. Um, and, uh, and yeah, nowadays you just, you can't wait around for anything. You sort of, you know, you need to have stuff set in stone. You need to find someone to settle down with and all that to, to sort of have a successful life in a way. So, so yeah. Um, I've just basically been trying to focus on sorting finances out and setting stuff in stone, setting targets for myself, goals for myself and for my new girlfriend, like for both of us, um, to make sure that, you know, everything is timed, everything is planned. One thing that I do need to sort out obviously is life savings and stuff like that because my throughout my teenagehood um, I was pretty stupid with money, not going to lie saying that but yeah when I came out of teenage I bought this but yeah um, so yeah you know I've, I've been sort of spending a lot of time with a new girlfriend planning stuff out sorting stuff out because even though it's still early days I've got to say this phone mount I need a better phone mount anyone can recommend a better phone mount let me know because um, yeah even though it's still early days um, I've just we've both got this sense that we're probably the ones for each other which is apologies for that that was uh, her the girlfriend calling um so yeah i've sort of taken a bit of time straight out into the fast lane on the m20 um yeah i've sort of taken a bit of time out to sort of focus on myself focus on finances um and yeah just you know sort money out, sort out goals um, to make sure that you know we are really seeing eye to eye with things and it seems to be with a lot of things so far we are so fingers crossed she may be the keeper but um, obviously it's still early days so you don't know how things are going to sway but 
judging by you know what we've sat down and spoke about and all that sort of stuff, it seems to be where I survive with things. So you know, but there is one important thing about this girl. She's a car girl. That's the most important thing. So um, yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've sort of taken a bit of time out with things um, to sort of get my head together and make sure that you know things are gonna work out smoothly, start setting goals for myself and all that sort of stuff, figure out how I'm gonna save money and run two cars. Now, obviously, me having two cars, that is a big issue, because I could be saving money by only running one car, but I want two, because I want a race car and I want a daily. Um, but, if needs be, obviously one of the cars is gonna have to go. Um, don't worry, I can afford to run both cars and save money. It's just depending on how soon stuff happens and how soon stuff equates, one of the cars might have to go. All right, so that, that that's sort of another thing that's playing on my mind a bit. But there is a real bad issue with it. What car do I get rid of? Now, straight away, whenever I get asked that question, I instantly think the Audi because I have the least emotional attachment to the Audi. It, it's a car that I've had the shortest for duration of time. It's the one that's most expensive to keep on the road. So, you know, instantly I think, ditch the Audi. But, this is where things come in to stuff. The memories with the new girlfriend are all in this car. There's a few in the Yaris, but the Yaris barely gets used because that's more of like a bit of fun. That's, that's sort of, a, I wanna go out on a little hoon after work or something like that now. Like That, that barely gets used, the Yaris does. So a lot of my memories with a new girlfriend already are in this car. Do I really want to throw that away? No. But, the Yaris, that's the one that kicked my YouTube channel off. The Toyota Yaris T-Sport kicked my YouTube channel off. It's why a lot of you guys follow me. Um, and, you know, it's, it is the main content car. It's the car that has the build. It's the car that everyone is on here to follow, so I know so far. You know, I've got no, I don't think I've got any rear, any real viewers for the Audi, which is understandable. Um, but, also, do I really want to sell the Audi and then start chucking money at the Yaris to get that build done and then end up shooting myself in the foot that way? Or do I just keep the Audi as a sensible daily? You know, my, my car, not really chuck any money at it, apart from obviously maintenance and stuff, and you know, just keep it like that. Like, there's so much to consider with selling one of the cars that I don't know what to do at the moment. Thankfully, like I said, I can afford to keep both cars running, I can afford to save money as well, and I can afford a girlfriend, which don't really come into play that often. It's pretty weird that that can sort of happen, and don't ask how it happens. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just sort of, it hasn't really been downtime, it's just more or less growing up. And that's another thing as well, making the right decisions. Realising when it's time to actually grow up and focus on the real world, the real life, moving out, stuff like that. Personally, from experience, everyone should do what I haven't done. And that is save money from as soon as you start working. Thankfully, my girlfriend's got her head screwed on properly and started doing that. Me? You've seen where my money's gone. Uh, but let's not go over that. Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, please someone recommend a new phone mount. Um, yeah. So, I was highly recommend for any young viewers watching this video, start saving money as soon as you start working. Otherwise, you'll shoot yourself in the foot long, long, in the long run. It's like now I've got a load of catching up to do. Because, yeah, I've got savings, but I haven't got as much savings as I've wanted to have. And now I've got a big catch-up game to play. Um, so, so yeah, making the right decisions again. Learning when to grow up, learning when to start saving money. And at the age of 21, with a goal of moving out before I'm 30, which is realistic, really realistic, probably sooner, hopefully sooner. You know, married, family, all that sort of stuff by the time I'm 30 as well. You know, that, that's realistic goals, but it's down to my mindset and down to how I view life to make them goals possible. So therefore, now is the time, oh for fuck's sake, now is the time that 
I need to start growing up. Now is the time that I need to think about finances properly. Ideally, I should have done that sooner, but now is definitely the time, especially with the goals that I've got in sight, to start thinking of that stuff. What does this mean in terms of the channel? Well, potentially, the Yaris build is probably gonna slow down. Don't worry, I'll still be buying parts for it, stuff like that, but it won't be as full on as I initially expected it to be. Building this Audi, this Audi I'm probably not gonna to build too much. You know, I might do a couple of things to make it my own, but it's just a daily. You know, I'm not gonna chuck loads of money at it, modifying it or anything like that. It's mainly just tidying it up, doing a couple of like aesthetic things. So I don't know, a little boot lip spoiler, tinted windows, and for goodness sake, this poxy foam now. Yeah, you know, like tinted windows, little boot lip spoiler, change of wheels maybe you know like only little things <laughs> um unless obviously this channel takes off which i'm trying to get it to do but it's just not really seeming to happen um and i don't usually do this in a video but i sort of do beg you to not really beg but you know i i'd like you to share this video around i'd like you guys to tell your friends about it try and get this channel underway because the end goal really is to have this as my career to have this as my job YouTube, merch store, stuff like that. It's, it, you know, that's that's what I want to do. I want to be in the automotive industry in my own style. And my YouTube channel sort of expresses that. That will be my perfect, perfect, perfect job. And I don't want the projects to slow down. I don't want the bills to slow down. I don't want gaining equipment to slow down or anything like that. Like, you know, th this is what I want to do. I want to be an automotive YouTuber and it's going to be a hard graph to get there but you know we can get there in the end so I do hope that you guys do share this video about and do let your friends and all that know about me because I would love oh for goodness sake I would really love this video this channel to take off now I really would it would help it would benefit me and a lot it would benefit the content a lot if I could start earning money through YouTube, which I am quite close to doing now. I need to hit a thousand subs before I can start earning money through YouTube. I'm currently sitting on just over 400. Yeah, it sounds still a long way, but if stuff takes off quicker, I could be there very, very soon. I could be there starting to earn money through YouTube. That is going to be the next goal. Now, another end goal is something that I can't really say or express or anything like that too much because there's certain people that may watch my channel that don't need to know about it. But the only thing that's restricting me on this goal is lockdown. That's the only thing that is restricting me, this whole COVID situation. Um, but as soon as COVID is out of the way, fingers crossed this next goal can be put in place and can happen. And that will also benefit a lot in helping me save, run these two cars, uh, build the Yaris, you know, it, it will help a lot with doing stuff like that. So I am really eager, really determined to get this next goal nipped in the bud. But, um, but yeah, honestly, I'm gonna probably end this video here because I, oh for fuck's sake, because this phone man is pissing me off! That's why I'm ending this video, jokes, no it's not really, I'm just muttering on now. But yeah, take home messages today. Make the right decisions. Let's boot it. Because we've got the fast lane to ourselves. But yeah, make the right decisions. Realize when you need to grow up. Listen to people as well, because that's another thing I never used to do when I was younger. Make sure you do listen to people. People can see stuff from a different view to what you can see stuff. So if someone is pointing something out to you, don't just ignore it, listen to it. That could have saved a whole lot of my time and that could have saved a whole lot of the situation I'm in now. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this quiet, deep conversation. Um, if you did, hit the like button, uh, comment down below anything you may want to comment. Share this video please because I would love to start getting this taken off now properly. I know I keep saying that in most videos, but honestly, if you guys could just give this video a share, that'll be brilliant. I'd love I'd love that to happen. And uh, yeah, more importantly, hit that subscribe button. 
And without further ado, I'm going to end this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.